Hey everyone, Ryan from Caddy, and today we're talking about the brand new Razor Claw. The Razor Claw is Eagle McMahon's newest signature series disc. It's part of the Discmania Evolution lineup, and aside from the signature series part, it's actually called the Evolution Tactic. The Razor Claw, or also known as the Evolution Tactic, is a brand new overstable putter. Discmania has been missing that super reliable overstable putter from their lineup for a while, and Eagle McMahon made it happen, and now it's here. The Razor Claw was released as a part of Discmania's Black Edition Mystery Box, which was available for purchase on Christmas Day. There were two different types of Razor Claws that you could get. There was this pure white Razor Claw, which was very limited in inventory, and then there was also what they're calling their Vapor Plastic, Vapor Razor Claw, which essentially is a burst-like plastic. The pure white Razor Claws are not the actual Vapor Plastic, I clarified. These are actually just Lux Plastic Razor Claws, but nonetheless, Lux Plastic is a premium plastic that's grippy, durable, and really comfortable. The numbers on the Razor Claw are 4203. So it's relatively quick, typically that standard putt and approach speed. It's got no glide, no turn, and then some overstable fade to make sure that the integrity of the overstability in the disc stays intact. A lot of people have been asking the internet and asking me as well, what is the Razor Claw like? Is it a harp? Is it a zone? Is it a mixture of both? And while everyone knows that it's an overstable putter, I will show the profile of the disc, but I think it was only fair to go ahead and include a comparison to the harp and to the zone, both their profiles as well as their flight characteristics. Here is the side of all three of the discs. The Razor Claw is at the top, the harp is in the middle, and the zone is at the bottom. At a first glance, you guys, they're really not super different. I think it's fair to say that as far as the profile of the Razor Claw, you can compare it to the Harp. I see a lot of very similar features. I know the angle is, is kind of um, off just because of the height of where I'm holding each disc. But as far as kind of the shape and, and the height of each of the rims, I think it's safe to say that these are very similar in profile as far as that goes. Taking a look at the flight plate, the Razor Claw is very flat. This Kristen Tatar US Tour Series harp is also very flat. And this 2016 Ledgestone Glow Zone, the profile on this one, you can see it has just a little bit of dome. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to throwing these discs one right after the other. I think you're not going to be too surprised at what you see in the results. Everybody was talking about the Razor Claw pretty much being a harp, pretty much being a zone, and you're going to be able to see for yourself based on these flights what this disc really is.
There you have it guys, the Razor Claw Flight is very similar to the Harp and the Zone. Keep in mind too, that Glow Zone that I have, the 2016 Ledgestone Zone, apparently is one of their more overstable runs. Obviously it had a little bit of dome, so I could see that being the case. But as far as these three discs, they fly very similarly. I would say all these discs landed no more than 20, 25 feet from each other. So really, how do you decide which one to throw? I think it's going to be based on what brand you like to throw and perhaps the different plastic types. For me, as you guys know, I'm a disc maniac, so it was a no-brainer for me to go ahead and pick up this disc and put it in the bag. Been waiting for an overstable disc like the Razor Claw for quite some time, and I'm glad it's finally here, and I can't wait until they go for sale so that I can pick up a couple backups. That's all I have for the Razor Claw, guys. If you guys have any questions about anything in this video, the profiles of the three discs, the flights of the three discs, or any other general que questions, please feel free to go ahead and drop them in the comments. Otherwise, I hope this review was helpful in some sort of way. If it was, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Feel free to share it to your friends or on any of your social platforms. And for more disc reviews and vlogs in the future, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.